In this video, I will show you how to prevent Outlook New and Dev Home from installing on new computers. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And I will begin this video by clicking on the link that I have here that brings me to the Microsoft documentation page for Update Orchestrator API. And that's because it seems that Microsoft is using Update Orchestrator for installing Dev Home and Outlook new applications. And there is a lot of information about the Update Orchestrator in here, but for this video we only care about few bits. The first one is here, saying that the installation happens 30 minutes after user logon. And then here we have this registry location where we would put all the settings necessary for the application installations to happen. In this case, we'll be removing the registry entries from here, and that's because instead of installing software, in this case, we want to prevent the software from installing. Anyways, I will leave the link here in my GitHub page, and you can read all about it in there. And here in my GitHub page, I already have all the necessary information. For example, here you can see all the registry keys that we need to delete to prevent Dev Home and Outlook from installing. And now to show you how everything works, I will go to my Vember workstation because here I have prepared two virtual machines as you can see here. On the first virtual machine I will be removing the registry entries, the registry keys that are responsible for home dev and also Outlook new installation. And then I will go through the out of the box experience, wait a bit and see if the installation will happen inside of this virtual machine. And on the second one, I will just go through after the box experience and we'll see what are the differences between the virtual machine that had the registry keys removed and the one that didn't have the registry keys removed. And now to modify the registry in this virtual machine, on my keyboard, I will press Shift F10. This brings me the command line. And here I will type regedit and this brings me the registry editor. Then I will go to local machine software and then Microsoft. And somewhere in the bottom, we should find Windows Update. Then we need to go to Orchestrator and then use Scheduler Ubi. And here, the keys that we need to remove is Dev Home Update that you see here, and also the Outlook Update. Both are responsible for the application installation. We can remove both of them, and I will leave everything else in here. And the second location that we need to go to is Microsoft and then Windows. And then current version and somewhere here we should also find windows update then orchestrator use scheduler and also here we have the same keys dev home update and also outlook update and i will remove both of them and that's basically it for removing the keys that are responsible for the software installation. We can close everything here. And now I need to go through out of the box experience in this virtual machine, but I will not be doing it manually because here in my USB drive, I have this provisioning package that will go through out of the box experience. It will create a user account and it will also remove all the unnecessary Windows 11 applications that comes with clean Windows installation. And this will allow me to see easier when the installation for Dev Home and also Outlook New will happen. So I will now plug this USB drive from my host machine to the virtual machine that you see here. So I'll go here and then connect it. The provisioning process should start any second. It started. We get uh, this message right here saying that we can remove the removable media. Now I will remove it from this machine. Then I will go to my second machine and I will connect it here. And as you remember, this machine does not have the registry uh, modifications that the first one has. And now we need to wait a bit for the provisioning process to happen. And as you can see, the provisioning process is over for the first virtual machine. My start menu for this user is pretty clean. We don't have Outlook or Dev Home inside of here. Also, if I go to settings and then installed applications, I mean apps and then installed apps and search for Outlook, we cannot find it in here. So basically, if we read the documentation in here, it says that the installation should happen after 30 minutes. With my experimentations, it's more like 15 minutes. So we need to wait a bit now. And while we wait, 
I will open a task manager because this will allow us to see when the when something will start to happen inside of this virtual machine. The processor will get more busy than usual. Also, if I go to the second machine, we can see the same result. We don't have the unnecessary software because that was removed with the provisioning package and the user was created. Also in here, if I go to settings and then apps and installed apps and search for Outlook, you can see that we don't currently have Outlook in here. So I will open the task manager in here also. I will leave it at CPU, then go back in here. And now we need to wait for the software installation process to happen about, like I said, 15 minutes. And as you can see here, the processor has started being very busy on this virtual machine. And it was not like this before, it's at 50 plus percent. If I go to my start menu, we still don't see any applications in here. And I'm using this uh, diagram as an indicator that something is going on. And usually when it's this busy, it, the software installation is happening. So as you can see, nothing in here. If I go to all apps and then let's go to settings and search for Outlook once again in here. Let's reopen this screen and search for Outlook. You can see that Outlook is not found, but if I go to my second virtual machine that didn't have the registry removed and go to my start menu, here we can already see that we have Dev Home installed and also that we have Outlook new installed. And if I go to settings, and here already in the search, we can see that we have Outlook new, if I go to system components here, we can see dev home. So basically that means that the registry configuration, the registry removal in this virtual machine was successful and we prevented Outlook new and dev home from installing. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.